Miss Nancy Wilson, Merry Christmas and Happy Kwanzaa to you. Oh, happy holidays. Thank, How are you? Thank you uh, so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Now, this holiday season, uh, the Jazz 100 Sunday tradition is focusing on artists who have contributed so many memories to our Christmases uh, throughout the year. I, for one, look forward to every year around Christmas time when I can play your holiday songs like uh, That's What I Want for Christmas and What Are You Doing New Year's Eve. Uh -huh. I know uh, it was some time ago when you recorded these tunes, but I've always wanted to know if you had any idea what kind of impact on people that these uh, recordings had or did you have a feeling while you were recording them that you were making like Christmas history? No, not really. I don't think I had that kind of ego that would allow me to do, <laughs> to do that with anything. Um, but I did, you know, I know that most Christmas songs are by artists who um, have longevity. They are repeatedly played every year, so that doesn't surprise me, that part, but I don't know about the other part. Uh huh. But do you get people coming up to you and telling you that those are uh, some favorite Christmas tunes of theirs? Well, not really, because no? uh, I'm really not so much in the public around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. So I don't really see get an opportunity to um, my Christmases are usually at home uh -huh. and I'm not you generally I'm not in the public eye at that point in time I see now wh what is your favorite Christmas song or Silent do you have Night one? or All Holy Night Silent Night and All Holy Night or All Holy Night yes okay. any, and by any particular artist no uh -uh. you just like those songs huh? Mm -hmm. okay now have you ever done a, a Christmas album I couldn't try no never an entire Christmas album uh -uh. No, that's unusual. Why is that? Well, I don't. I don't find it. There aren't that many Christmas albums out by artists. Mm -hmm. That um, you know, at the time that I was recording for Capitol, um, we just never got around to it. And mm -hmm. and being on other labels, I just uh, it, it's a it's a very minimal amount of time that you would do it. Uh, right now, it wouldn't be the thing to do because I'm re-signing with it with a label and I'm only there for like one or two albums so mm -hmm. it's not I wouldn't want to do a Christmas song since this is the only you know I'm only going to do one or two in the next three years I don't want to do that because mm -hmm. uh, I've got about I did one with uh, Larry Farrell over at Cavill. there are some other songs out there that I have done but never all in one album I see Miss Wilson, I'm a very big fan of yours and as far as I'm concerned you can sing anything but my most favorite album uh, done by you is an album called I Know I Love Him. Do you recall that album? I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, I have to think about it. Okay, I, I can... Uh, well, you, can you tell me some of the songs? Yes, I know I of love course. Him. I was short. telling him about you, the okay. laughter or the tears, don't misunderstand, can don't I? Don't misunderstand, and we can make it, baby. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, first of all, the, the album cover is incredibly beautiful. Who did that portrait of you? Do you recall that album cover? It was it's a, a sketch, uh, artist yeah, sketch. Yeah, beautiful. That I was not happy with. No? <laughs> no. Why? It was so pretty. Well, because really he didn't do anything. He just took a, he just copied some other thing. I really wanted him to really kind of do a, you know, I, did, I wanted him to, to really stretch out a little bit. I thought he, he really didn't do, it's a nice cover, <laughs> but I, I really was expecting more. I'm surprised to hear you say that because I, I. thought I, he took a, he just copied a picture up than uh -huh. to do, to, to do um, you know, a painting. Because when I had access to that album, I've bought it a couple of times and it has gotten away from me, but I used to display it in my house, you know, I mean, uh -huh. just, you know, put it up because it was so incredibly beautiful. Well, I'd like, if that, I have no, nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I just thought that he'd copied something as opposed to doing something original. Okay, uh, We Can Make It Baby was one of the big hits from that particular right. album. It, was that your, what, what was your first big hit? Uh, Guess Who I Saw Today. Guess Who I Saw Today? It was in the second album. Okay, Guess Who I Saw Today was on your second album? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, uh, are there any plans on probably releasing that particular uh, album, I Know I Love Him, on CD? Because I would really like to... <laughs> like I to would not have any way of knowing that. Okay. Uh, that's usually every now and then uh, I'll get a letter from Capitol wanting to know if I will talk to some writer, and, like when they re-release the, all the Gerald Wilson things. Mm -hmm. But I have no control over that. I see. Now, I followed your music uh, throughout, the career, throughout your career, and I can tell you have this certain ear for remakes, like uh, you've done Stevie Wonder's All in Love is Fair and Marvin Gaye's Just to Keep You Satisfied, uh -huh. the Isley Brothers' Don't Let Me Be Lonely Tonight. Uh -huh. are, are there certain songs that you feel like you must do? What happens is I came up during an era when every artist of quality sang quality songs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, writers weren't singing. 
and everybody covered the great songs. Okay. And I, I don't, I've always done that. And uh, in fact, all of us did at that time. Johnny Mathis and I sang many of the same songs. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it was the tradition, and that was the way songs were made standards. Uh-huh. That we've gotten away from that. I kind of miss that today. You know, I, I've always thought that if a person is going to redo somebody else's song, you either do it as good as or better than. Well, and you bring a different quality to, right, a, to uh-huh. a piece of music. Uh-huh. And you, you do a great job on those tunes. They're Thank like you. favorites of mine. Now, I saw you on the Arsenio Hall show last night. Uh-huh. You were beautiful and elegant as ever. Thank you. Now, um, that version of Teach Me Tonight uh-huh. and the uh, um, piano. And uh-huh. Now, was that spontaneous, or did you guys rehearse that? Or how we did used that? to do it all every night Okay. when they were with me. Oh, they, they played with you before. John B. Williams was with me for 10 years. Okay. And Michael was with me five years. Oh, so that was like... Yeah, we just... Nostalgia <laughs> there, huh? Did something we, oh, we'd done for years and years. That was great. That uh-huh. was incredibly beautiful. Now, uh, what does uh, Christmas time hold for the, uh, the Wilson household? What are you guys going to be doing? Well, it's the Burtons and the Wilsons. Okay. Uh, my father Bur- is, is in California. Uh-huh. And my sisters and their husbands and children and... My children. Um, how, my many, husband, how many children do you have, Miss Wilson? I have three children. Okay. My husband, uh, his mother, uh, his sister's coming out for Christmas, so it'll be quite a quite a household. Mm-hmm. So, is there any certain uh, nostalgic things or that you do? Uh, you know, I mean, I guess you do basically what everybody else does, like the dinner and the mm-hmm. opening the presents and the whole bit. Right. Most is there they, singing? They sing after dinner on Christmas. They Eve. sing. You but, don't sing. Once in a while, they're <laughs> the kids. Okay. It's really an opportunity for the young people to, That's to show their stuff. Uh-huh. Sounds like uh, my household when my grandmother was alive because, right. you know, all of the kids had to gather around the Christmas tree, and even if you couldn't sing, you had to uh, well, dance or something. Yeah. And they, they have their little shows they put on for it. Okay. Was well, there any uh, uh, Christmas thoughts or you'd like to share with the audience or, or anything you'd like to say to the St. Louis listening audience? before we can let you go here? Well, you know, up to me, um, like, for, for example, Thanksgiving, I think we, uh, we had a, our dinner amount, it was about 70, 75 people. Mm-hmm. Um, Christmas is a very big, big thing for us. It's a um, time of year that I've always been able to express my love for, for Christ. Uh, I believe firmly in that uh, he's been my savior all along and i've always praised him for the gift that he's given me mm-hmm. and christmas is just a way for me to express that more more totally and i want the st louis audience to recognize the fact that christmas is about love not necessarily about giving it's about giving love it's about being there holding one another telling you letting people know you love them it's reaffirming your belief in in god really Absolutely. Thank you, Miss Wilson, for your beautiful contribution to Christmas and, and your contribution just to the music world. Thank you so much. Well, for I want that. them to wake up on Christmas morning and just be joyful and have a great, great day. And may the dinner be superb. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thank you so much for talking to us. It's my pleasure. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.